Um, well, let, let's kick it off with this then. So I, I got asked this uh, earlier this week. Uh, somebody that I know is uh, wanting to do some upgrading to the house so that they can sell it at some point. You know, they want to want to do that uh, at some point in the future. And it was just a really general question of like, hey, what, like, what do we do? Like, where do we even begin? Yeah, so this question is multi-layered, right? If you're thinking about selling, there's one approach to remodel and updating your home. And if you're thinking about staying simply to enjoy your property, there's an entirely different approach to remodeling your home. And then again, if you just bought, there's a very different look. I think right now we're getting the question about if I sell, what do I need to do? So we'll answer that angle first. Um, there are certainly parts of town right now in Dallas, Houston, Austin, Waco, Tyler, you know, big cities in Texas where you might not need to do anything. And the reason for that would be that there is so much demand for a home in your area and so few homes available that you're probably going to max out your resale value without having to do much of anything. Now, most of those, you probably still need to do some touch-ups and make ready, but you probably don't need to make massive improvements and replace things to increase your value. We always say, hear me loud and clear on this. The first thing you want to do when you're thinking about the physical condition of your home before you sell and how that affects your value. The first thing you want to do is eliminate the negatives, right? So if you have a beautiful home, but you have a hole and some sheetrock behind the garage door, let's eliminate that negative. Let's take away that hole before we go try to add some new positives. If you have a bunch of cracked tile on the kitchen floor, let's repair the cracked tile before we come in and add brand new windows or change out the countertops. So for a lot of our sellers right now, it's like, hey, you really don't need to do a whole lot to increase your value, but we do need to eliminate some of these negatives, remove a couple of these obstacles that might keep a buyer from making that very best offer or making it right away. Is that still the case in this market though, where people are getting however many offers you wanna say, you know, 30 showings and 12 offers and this much over, like, is it, as important now as it was two years ago? Or is it, you know, are there some things that you maybe wouldn't do today that you would have done previously? Yeah, listen, it is ambitious and potentially foolish to even have a real estate radio show because everyone's situation is different. But the, the general average scenario here is right now in one of the most extreme sellers markets we've ever seen in North Texas and really the whole state of Texas, it is less likely that you need to do a bunch of repairs to increase your property value than ever before. But the caution I'm trying to make is it is more likely than ever that if you are lazy about this, you're going to leave a bunch of money on the table. Is that, did I say that clearly? Yeah. So you don't want to just say, oh, I don't have to do anything. I'm going to sell for max value. You do want to say, look, is there anything I can do? And if the answer is no, is there anything minimal that I could do that would really increase the speed of sale, help me hold firm to my value during an inspection period, maybe get more money, maybe go faster. And those would be things like touching up busted sheetrock, cleaning up the baseboards, deep, deep, deep cleaning, cleaning up those windows, maybe some minor upgrades like landscaping or lighting. Now, there are absolutely some people who still should seriously consider granite counters, new sinks, new appliances, uh, you know, swapping out some flooring in the ba hall bathrooms, you know, because this amazing market provides an opportunity for them to push not only from a good sale, but to an all time high sale. There's still a lot of people that should be doing some work pre-sale, but less than in most traditional markets. So, you know, it, it's, it's a tricky situation because it is case by case, but generally speaking, there's a lot of people right now that don't need to do as much as they might think, but there are also a lot of people that need to ignore just the blatant rampant optimism, blind optimism of the market and should still put in some effort because they might spend $1,200 and get $10,000 back. They might spend $500 and sell their house three weeks faster. And that's a really big deal. 